Oh, I think they're you know, a fantastic rugby side. I think you know they've proved that throughout the course of the year. The consistency of the performances has been brilliant. Uh, you know they work so hard for each other as a group. I think you know that's a key ingredient in, in any success, successful sporting team. And you know these guys have got that. And uh, you know, we get an opportunity in a couple of weeks' time to, to you know to be ground champions if, if we go there and perform well. And you know, this group certainly deserve to. But. You know, that said, they would have to make it happen. I think we certainly deserve to be at Old Trafford. Um, sure, we've got some talented players that you know, can make a difference. I think you know that's important, uh, but that only comes off the back of hard work. Uh, and this this group get it in the right way around. They, they work hard first, and then their ability comes into it second. Now, Wigan will certainly look at you know that performance and want to improve in quite a few areas themselves. And uh, you know, there's never been I've never seen a rugby league game been played a couple of weeks later where it's exactly the same. So. There's too many variables, there's too many good players in, in the opposition teams, both Wigan and Salford, to, to make it easy for us. So, you know, we're going to have to work hard for everything that we get. Now we've finished playing, I, I can look back on with you know, real fond memories. It's you know, a real special time in my career. I think, you know, for a couple of reasons. One was, you know, given the fact that I was the captain of the team, captain in my hometown club to a grand final success, is something I'm, I'm real proud of. And also, it came after, you know, after a run of grand final defeats, which was pretty tough to take at the time. So, there was a kind of a mix mixture of emotions you know after the final whistle at Old Trafford so yeah certainly a bit of joy there but, but also relief that we'd finally got back there and once you've got to go there and you've got to perform well and we have to accept that in our recent past we perhaps haven't quite done that that's the reality of the situation I don't think that adds any more pressure because what we do need to do is go to Old Trafford next week and perform well. If we perform well enough, we'll get the results. If not, we won't, and, and that's the reality. You know, I think my excitement uh, is shared by the rest of the coaching staff, by the rest of the players, and certainly our supporters. Like uh, you said, it's been a long time, five years to go back there, uh, and we'll finally get that opportunity in a couple of weeks' time. So you know, we've got everything, every, every reason to be excited.